Okay, so on a previous video, we went through here and uh, got into some of the stuff and modified some things just to get the car running. So now the car runs, but it doesn't run well because the tune's way off. So we need to make some adjustments to it. In order to do that, we're going to get out of, this is the VCM editor where you change the tune. We're going to come in here to the uh, VCM scanner that basically reads uh, what the car's seen. So this is how it came uh, just normally. Uh, what we need to do is we need to add some stuff on here and remove some stuff on here and then we need to adjust these tables to where they match uh, what our tune looks like so i'm just going to start over here um i see some stuff uh let's move this up because we'll keep the throttle position uh all this stuff here i don't think i need so we'll remove this delete 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 don't need this i don't need any of this stuff down here okay so now i want to add some stuff um i think i will take this now you can go move up which is control up Except for that's not what I wanted. I was actually wanting to do this. So I'm just going to use the buttons on the keyboard. Uh, let's put that up here. Uh, the timing. I want the uh, spark stuff to be separate. So we'll just move all this down. And one more time. Okay, so let's add some... Uh, some spark stuff here so do you add channel i want some uh i want to know when i'm getting retard and i want to know why it's being retarded so i'm gonna add all these on here and then i like to kind of keep them separated so they're kind of easy to find with your eyes so This looks pretty good. Um, I want to add some stuff for the idle. So we'll come right here. Type in idle. I want the desired RPM. I want for your IAC, your idle air control, You, I want the position that's at and what it wants to be. That should be pretty good. And then create another gap here. Okay, engine. That looks pretty good. We got some sensors here. We got the idle. We got spark. O2. Um something else we need is me make room for it I actually didn't need that much room we'll put it right here I need a cylinder air mass that's something they use for a lot of the tables so we're gonna want that cylinder air mass that looks pretty good um there's a couple of things I want to check I don't really need to adjust the team, but I just want to make sure that they're working properly. I want to check, uh, make sure I'm getting my AC signal. Just make sure I, so I can just verify that I wired it up correctly. AC requested and make sure the computer seat's at. And then I want to check and make sure the cooling fans, there those on there too. And then we'll just, move this down I think it looks pretty good I think that's most everything I need yeah okay so that's good now we need to modify these tables over here 
and uh, if you modify these tables correctly, it makes it super easy to adjust your ting, which is what we want. So we're going to start out the Spark Advance. If you look here, they got the uh, RPMs across the top here, and they have uh, your map sensor down here. And if you get into our tune, which is Spark where here it is this is how the spark table looks and if you can tell we have the rpms up here and we have a cylinder air mass so we need to make this table match this table so let's go here i'm going to right click graph layout so we're on the spark advance it's got it's going to give us it in degrees um high value 40 i think it might go higher than in some instances so we'll crank that up um and then engine speed uh at first glance it looks like these might be the same rpms it probably is but just to be sure i'm going to delete it and then we're going to come into the tune and we're going to right click this column axis we're going to copy the labels I'll go back into this here's the column axis and then we're going to paste so that came straight from the tune so we know that's exactly the same and down here they have a map sensor this is what we got to change so this is going to be cylinder air mass so that it matches the uh, the tune. So let's find that cylinder air mass. Oh, let's go back. I'm not sure if that was the right one. more than one what's this one hey, you gotta use the generic one so at once and then go back into here row axis we're gonna copy the rows then we're going to paste that. So, okay, so now this matches exactly the uh, table in the team. We're going to do the same thing for retard. Spark retard. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Do the same thing. We'll copy the column. Then we'll go back in here. Cylinder air mass. Under the general right here. And then we'll get rid of this. Copy the rows. Paste that. Okay, so now those are both cylinder air mass. Uh, the fuel trims here are not. Let's get into this tune. Get out of the spark. Let's find the uh so you have two sensors on here that the car can run off of you have the mass airflow sensor which is 
basically what the car runs off of and then there's a backup which is the map sensor and uh you can a lot of people just tune them the mass airflow and they don't even mess with the map but if you ever have a problem with your mass airflow the car may not run on the map or run very poorly because the map isn't tuned so we're going to tune both of them so this uh this table these two tables we're going to make match the uh the map sensor table and then we'll add a mass airflow table so i gotta find where this is on here airflow there is a table somewhere your primary ve tables is what you want okay so they are running a map sensor so let's have a look here 15 20 25 looks like they're going quantities of five uh looks like so is this and this is they jump 400 rpm every time and this is this looks to be the same so i think we're good on these two now let's just add the mass airflow. So we're going to go up here, add a graph, add a table. We're going to do mass airflow, uh, short term fuel. I would name it that. So we're going to kind of copy here because we want the fuel trim on the mass airflow table. So that's the, looks like they got long term, well we want short term though. Short term fuel and percentage, we'll just kind of copy that. So short term fuel. I think it's that one. Yeah, it looks right. That's going to be a percentage. And then I think this is 25 and negative 25. And they got red and green. Red. green why did this get rid of my wording okay and then let's get into the tune this is the VE table we need the mass airflow table which is right here and we'll go ahead and copy the column And this is going to be the mass airflow. And we want the frequency. Why is it doing that? That ain't right. Mass airflow frequency. That's the right one. Hertz, that's what we want. And then we'll paste uh, what we got from this table here. And uh, should be good. So here it is. Yep. Looks like it matches perfectly. So now we're all set. And uh, when we run the car, it'll fill in these tables when we get the motor. When the motor is running in these different parameters, it'll kind of fill this table in with basically how far off your fuel is or how much, you know, your spark's being retarded. And then you can use those numbers to adjust your tune, you know, just the right amount. And then your car will be pretty much spot on. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and 
save all this graphics layout let's save this save all the graphs oh, I don't even know what to call this thing save okay let's save this too Then let's save the layout. We'll just save everything that way I don't lose it. Okay, so that's uh, going to work pretty good. I got all the information I need over here to make sure everything looks good. Make I can see what's going on. I can make adjustments. Uh, I can use these tables to, to modify my tables in the tune. And we should be all set. So... The car, uh, it had a leaking uh, steering rack. I got to fix that. Uh, I got to do a couple little things. Um, I actually, the car was my brother's. And I just got him to sign a title over. I still got to get, uh, get insurance and stuff on it so I can drive it to tune it. So uh, I'm going to do some of that stuff. And then we'll take the car out and we'll get her uh, all dialed in. So uh, thanks for watching this video. And I uh, hope, you know, helps you out and I'll catch you guys next time.